to Lois Lane, number four, Greg so, Rucker writing with uh, Mike Perkins on the art. Yeah. So I had picked up the variant just because it was Luke Pacino. Sure. Right? Cool. Very excited. Did not realize this was like a deceased variant <laughs> until I had it in my hand. Uh, I thought the people were chasing her were like Russian agents uh-huh. or whatever. And then I saw it. Um, Is it tampered my variant? Yeah. I need, I need uh, to go look at this right now because I, yeah, I knew there was a Lupacita variant, but yep. um, so Holy yeah, crap, it is. It is, and so this is the first one of these I kind of I've seen. Um, yeah, not that it doesn't look great. I love Lupacino, you know. That said, it it does it have wish... that deceased variant cover tag in the top on right? On my yeah, on yep, on mine. That's how I knew. I didn't pay attention last week when I was looking at them. Honestly, you take that away, and it's. A little bit better. A little bit, right? Yeah. So, mm. anyways. Um, uh, but, yeah. No, this issue, uh, it's... it's My quick sum up is Rucka playing with the stuff that Rucka has done in DC the last yes. the last time he was here. Besides Wonder Woman. Like, you remove all that. It's, it's playing with Checkmate a little bit. It's playing with the questions from uh from from 52 yeah not only that it's playing with the idea and, of like what what's in continuity and who remembers yeah. what happened before um, that's what that's what i was going to get to and, and it, 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 well, yeah. the, the cliffhanger is basically is lois going to tell renee about because obviously our lois and clark did technically come from pre-flashpoint you know yeah so like is Lois going to tell her all this? And presumably she is, and that's and, going to be and interesting. So, I have a, I have um, a question. After yeah. Superman Reborn, did they yeah. come from play, like from pre Flashpoint anymore, or did that all change after that? Yeah, yeah. Yes and no. Yes and no. Yes, because um, they, they still remembered yeah. stuff. They still like yeah. it, it merged okay. them, but they didn't forget. Like no, that's fine. It's, just, no. it's been a while. Yeah. I wasn't sure. Um, because all all that was uh, mixy, right? Yes. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Um, anyway, so the book starts yeah. uh, with we had the, the joke ending last time where oh. Lois was trying to like surprise Clark in the shower, but it turned out to be John. Um, and I'm just going to say here, if if <laughs> if your mum just walked in in the shower with sexy oh. talk, uh, would you oh. want to hug her by the end of you know like the scene? Yeah, I thought that was weird too. Yeah, I was like, yeah, uh, give your mother a hug. You know what? Right now, I'm good. Right now, I don't feel like thought, it. <laughs> Thank I, you very I much. Like, I really like the second panel there where. Yep. He's super speeding off, and you just get the outline of the water spray. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I thought that was a great touch. Um, no, that's very good. Is he wearing a Justice League shirt? What's that blue? No. No, no, it's... Uh, I don't know what it says, but it's not Justice League. Okay. I'm trying to find a panel where you can like... make it out any better. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we'll see I just saw in... the IC, and that's what it looked like. Uh, maybe maybe uh, we'll see it in one of the uh, the restaurant yeah. scenes that are coming up, because they go out yeah. with pizza uh, pizza. at mm-hmm. 4 a.m., um, I would I would guess the first word there says Sonic. Okay. But uh, yeah, so this is basically John coming to talk to Lois about going off with the Legion, which again it feels that this was this I feel enhances the yep. the the worldwide building that Bendis is doing in all the super books right now. Of course, this is not yep. even a Bendis book, right? This is Rucka, but it just ties in so nicely. But what's great about it is that Rucka takes it and sort of says, "Well." How will this make Lois feel? How how kind of touching is this? That she's saying goodbye as if he's going off to college, but he's actually going off to the Legion of Superheroes in the uh, future. Sp- speaking of, mm-hmm. this is my first experience of older John. Not not a huge okay. fan. Just, just you know, I, I, yeah, I don't know what you said. I mean, I, I mean, I, I don't necessarily yeah. loved it the age of them up either. But no, I'm no, no like, like I said, I just I, I I vaguely remember you guys having the same reaction like six months ago when this happened. Yeah, and I'm just getting that we're, now. Um, and we're so over it. Yeah, making, we're just used to yeah. it now. <laughs> it's just, this yeah, is just John. Kind of like Connor wanted to talk about Shazam. We're like, yeah, we, we did that back in March. <laughs> yeah, we did that already. <laughs> I, I don't really want to talk about it. I just wanted to point out that I watched after you gave me shit last week. He wants credit. Uh, oh, and again, this here, I'm not really, you know, I'm not making a big deal about it. I'm just like, yeah, I'm not a big fan. I haven't got used to it yet. I'm sure I will. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I mean, you won't because they're not no, reading. No, that's true. Religion. I won't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll complain again in a year's time then. That's so, right. so yeah, um, and what it does nicely is that it cuts between them having their conversation and then the questions mm-hmm. are having a conversation over in, like, a, another diner somewhere. So, similar sort of setting. Um, different colouring. Uh, Lois and John's scene has got a lot of, uh, sort of, a purpley tone uh, with greens, yeah. whereas the questions background is a lot more oranges and yellows and has a more of a nightlife it, kind of feel to it. 
Yeah, their their feel in the diner, it feels like diner lighting, like mm. at an all night place. Whereas uh, Lois and John feel like it's in a low lit like Italian place, which they are. It says Gino's East where they're eating. Yeah. But it's one of those simple uh, things though that having different yeah. coloring in those two scenes really just it, it it really makes you know which one you're on without even thinking about the characters. Um, and it's not like John looks like Vic Sage because he doesn't, but like it's just that glance. You know? I think it's fair in that first panel where you know it's the wide shot of them sat at the table, mm. and if you hadn't, you know, if the color hadn't been so different, yeah. it would be very easy just to assume that was uh, that was exactly. John, especially yeah. in Perkins uh, work, uh, his his heavy lines and thick. Yeah, because they're, they're even sitting on the same side. You know, you yeah. have the line yeah. of action is the same. Yeah, and... well, which is my point is that the the, the coloring just makes it very clear immediately. That we're in a different place, we're looking at different characters. Um, and this is where, you know, some of the continuity stuff comes up where she's like, Oh, how are you alive? I remember you dying and you saved me, I, but but I don't remember, it never happened. <laughs> like she's very confused. Yeah. And it's like, no, this is like this is like fragments of fifty two from you know Yeah, this is like when Wally came back and people were remembering things and were like, Wait, yeah. what happened? What didn't happen? I'm confused. Which is interesting that this seems to be a consistent thing that they may keep coming back to just across DC as a whole, where when someone does come back from that continuity, characters around them may kind of get yeah. fragments of memories back based on whatever happened before Flashpoint. Yeah. because uh, this mm-hmm. is now the second sort of not a second time, but it's the second completely different example of a different set of characters where it's happening um, yeah. from a different part of the universe. Mm-hmm. So uh, that is very interesting to me. And he's like, you're my legacy. So it's really touching upon the nostalgia and the, you know, what, what Rucka built in that 52 story, which was very much his baby of that. Uh, yeah. uh, we have a scene in the Midlands. Uh, yes. Rucka knows the Midlands exist. <laughs> how, how happy you are. Um, Honestly, this gives this book a whole extra point. <laughs> uh, we get yeah. a police officer with a high vez jacket on, which was a nice touch. That it seemed mm-hmm. like he'd actually researched yeah. what, uh, or the artist maybe had researched what uh, yeah. a police officer might look like in that area. Yeah, yeah, this looks pretty, pretty realistic. Yeah, um, and is this, is this? Uh, do, do, do we know who this is? Because I, I, I was, I don't that's, know. That's what I'm looking at right yeah. now. I'm looking for because I've never read Checkmate. I have the first volume. Yeah. I should probably get reading it because I feel now that Checkmate and Leviathan are going to be intertwined. <laughs> kind of how I was feeling from the beginning. Yeah, it may be, may be relevant because uh, she has a lot of weird like chess lines it's here. related yeah. sayings. You know, yeah. White King oh. Castles and what's the next move? Uh, and, you know, the, the officers try to just talk her down and, you know, to, to, you know she mentions the Battle just... of Hastings at one point, actually. And, and he's like... What 1066, which yeah. is literally the only date most most British people will learn in school, but will remember for the rest of their lives. You guys keep talking about this. I'm looking up this character. I'm trying to. I'm ruling out. I'm ruling out people from. Uh, he's, he's, from really checkmate. he's really trying. Really he's really trying. He's, he's slitting over there. He's slitting away. Um, uh, 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 uh. Um, <laughs> who who is this character? That is the question. It's either Sasha Bordeaux or it's Jessica Midnight. Both names <laughs> sound great. But both both sound applicable to this. Uh, because Jessica Midnight was the Black Queen's bishop, which I, I know from Checkmate, from back when I was reading like Outsiders or whatever, they did a crossover. So I had a couple issues of it. Uh, and, Black um, Queen's bishop is the last thing she says. Yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, there's uh, people who have obviously read Checkmate are screaming at the podcast right now. Uh, yeah, you and know. that's fine. Hit, hit us up here, guys. Yeah. Um, but I think Sasha Bordeaux was the, the Black Queen... And then, but so, anyways, the bishop and the rook and the knight—they all were different roles to the handler, who was the king or queen. And I, f- I feel like, uh, like, you had, you had the white queen and white king, and they were like the the uh, what, what is it in Bond, Connor, where you have like M and Q, right? They're not agents; they're like the. Uh... I mean, they're the back end, like the the technical. Yeah. yeah. So I mean. Kinda. M is is operations chief, I guess. Yeah, operations. So yeah. so yeah, so like like the 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 white side of the chessboard was like the operational, and then the black side of the chessboard were you know the Amanda Wallers, the you know they go and get stuff done. So that's what this feels like is, you know, um, mm. because she's talking about I'm trying to find it. The black black king's knight takes pawn to d5. 
But it also looks like she's doing some occult stuff with candles. Yeah, yeah she's, she's got, got, she's she's got, got like a, a pentagram. Yeah, she's got like a, no, it's not actually a pentagram, but it's like a pentagram sort of drawing on the floor. Uh, it's interesting. It says uh, Omega Leviathan, and I can't make out what the other side says uh, where she's lying over. E H E Y. Then we don't see the rest of the word. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I have no idea what that could be. Um, Let me see. Uh, I do like the subtle touch in the art, though. There's a white box around the Leviathan. Just to mm-hmm. really make that one clear. It's like Leviathan's important yeah. here. Um, yeah. But she kills herself. That, that's the main thing that happens here. Is she does shoot herself in the head. The police officer tries to run in and stop her. Uh, but she looks definitely dead in that last panel. She's, she's... I, I mean, she she's definitely dead. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's a really uh, dark so, little scene. Yeah. So according to this, that uh, uh, Jessica Midnight was responsible for recruiting Sasha Bordeaux, and despite the Black Queen being the Black Queen's bishop, she was powerless to prevent the organization's recent takeover by Maxwell Lord. So now I'm thinking, oh crap, Maxwell Lord's running around. Now we're getting some of this. <laughs> oh, we that's know just that, what we need. <laughs> right? We we know that we have that that Rucka and uh, Bendis are working together on stuff like this. Um, I feel like we all need to do our homework and go and read Checkmate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have I have to find it. It's somewhere on my bookcase. Um, yeah, so we have another scene with Lois and uh, and John. We have a touching goodbye, and he's like, "Oh, you're my hero," and it's all very touching. Um, and then, you know, we go back to the questions. Uh, they're eating pie. It's going to his hips. <laughs> they're talking about... Because he, he needs to put weight on, though, to be... Yes, know, he's a bit he's skinny. skinny. Uh, and we get a kind of like an almost flashback as he's describing his last memory. And, you know, it's that scene yep. in 52 when they're in the snowy mountains, you know. Mm. Uh, going to the Nanda it. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, it, it, again, it's really poking back at that stuff. So if you've read any of that history, if you've read 52, it really is kind of... Is bringing some of it up, uh, but obviously she's going off to meet Lois and Vic walks her there. Yeah, uh, has a little beat there where, where he, they sort of speak to each other. But ultimately, Renee's like, "You knew he was around, and you didn't tell me." And this kind of brings up this thing uh, where it's like, "Hey, you know stuff uh, in a way that none, no one else does. You have to tell me." And Lois phrases is like, "Only two people in the entire like universe know about this history." Um, yeah, she gives a whole a whole like two page speech on truth first. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, and how it'll mark things up, and how it's you know difficult to take, yeah. um, and how you know. On, on the mat, I really felt this going. You guys, you think you want to know canon? You think you want explanations, but you don't because, like we just saw in Justice League, when we start explaining things, it just gets murky. And I will tell Rucka, no, I'm I am one of the people <laughs> that takes in sugar. And can handle it. Yes. Right. So give it to me. Yes. Connor can take all the alcohol. Right. We're we're we'll built between this, us. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And it doesn't make us sick. It makes us stronger. At least that's what I tell myself. Right. Yeah. Uh, so here's here's, here's the well. so here's the the final exchange. I always want to like say word for word. And one of those truths, Rennie, only two other people in the universe know. Are you sure you want to be the third? Uh, and she's like, start talking, and that's the final page. So. You know, uh, she, she's getting some pre-flashpoint knowledge. Uh, I, I love how much that that Renee becomes important. Important Montoya, she's one of these characters that's like, she she goes and comes back, but she's probably one of my favorite Gotham characters. Hmm. And I love that that Ruck is gonna put her up on a pedestal here, not just as the question, just like we saw her show up at the end of Levent Leviathan and Lois's secondary group, you know. And she's important to the DCU. I feel like she's like in that Dick Grayson vibe now that he's off being Rick, you know, like. Oh yeah, that's else. still happening. <laughs> yeah, let's. I tried. I tried. I, I, I tried. Not I to think genuinely about it. had forgotten that that was still a thing, somehow, and yeah. you just ruined that for me. I'm sorry, bud. I just, you know, maybe you can't handle the truth. Uh, well, we're just ready to rate the book, I think. Uh, but it's, it's interesting how Lois is kind of poking... I was not expecting her to poke at this continuity stuff and bringing up some stuff. Because I feel like it's been a while since we've really talked about stuff from pre-Flashpoint coming back. Yeah, and... yeah. Probably but since see, not long after Reborn. Rucka? Yeah, but see, Rucka also worked on that question book that gave us both questions in Convergence. Uh, all right. So, uh, lowest lane four, Matt. What are you giving it? Uh, this is an eight point five. Very confident, Connor. Uh, I'll give it an eight. 
Uh, I will also give it an 8 out of 10. Uh, really solid. Question stuff especially in this was really good.